So the NRCS has brought out the rainfall simulator uh, and we're going to see what it does on different soils. So uh, we've got currently uh, some of my pasture, uh, some of the neighbors pasture that was a little bit overgrazed, some of our cover crops, my no-till fields uh, down here on the creek and then some of the neighbors conventional tillage uh, that they planted back to winter wheat. So uh, be nice to see what this water does to uh, under, under these different conditions. So this is simulating a one and a half inch rainfall uh, on the different types of soils and, and cover crops uh, and current pasture, uh, which we currently see these hard, fast rains uh, in this part of the country. When we do get a rainfall, they might come in a very short window. So it's nice to see how this water is gonna go through this soil. We're starting to see the backsplash on the on the uh, conventional tillage uh, as the rain hits it. Uh, we're also seeing the runoff start to occur on it. The no-till is starting to see a lot of water running through the soil. How it's taking it in with very very little runoff. Uh, cover crops are kind of a close second at the moment. Uh, yeah, you're seeing the runoff coming out of the overgrazed pasture. Uh, you're not seeing hardly any water on some of my soils right now. That They're just absorbing apparently all the water. That's pretty remarkable to see that much water going through the soils of the cover crop and the no-till right there alone. or even my healthy pastures are starting to see some water finally get through there. Kind of goes to show a guy that uh, even though the cover crops might use a little moisture, but when you do get these rainfall amounts like this, that how fast that soil recharges, even over the just the no-till stubble. That's pretty amazing. I say the no-till and the cover crops, the amount of water that infiltrates into the soil is just remarkable and with almost no runoff that makes you wonder how much we've still got to learn about these soils. You look at your pasture management. And the pasture management. That that tickles me that <laughs> to to see that on the pasture as well that um, makes you finally feel like what you're doing is working. Amazing looking at the different amount of water runoff and like I said, the, the way that soil seals up, it, you know, on the overgrazed ground and the summer fallow and, and just won't let any more water in. I mean, just looking at it from the surface is just remarkable. And the cover crops that, you know, that was my concern is raising another crop are we using up too much moisture but now I can you know I've always believed in the canopy but to actually see the water infiltration just amazes me that we need to continue to push that yeah so I'm really excited to see what's going on underneath the surface on all these soils and the different types so that we don't just have to look at it from a visual on top How muddy that is clear to the bottom. Now there's actually some clumps in there yet to allow that to let the water go through.
and all dry dirt on the bottom side of that. That really makes makes you rethink everything you've ever learned from your grandparents, don't it? Say we've got so much to learn about soils yet, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just, like I say, I can't believe that we just run the same amount of water through both of them and have that kind of moisture and structure to the bottom versus dry dirt two inches deep. You can't see it, you can't measure that. <laughs> yeah, compare how kind of clean they are too. The clean is one for the Right, the, the water stays that clean coming through that no-till soil. How much actual soil you have in your runoff on your conventional till uh, you know just the fact that we're not letting any of it run off and take any soil with it uh, this, this no till just has so much merit that we have yet to learn uh, yeah mind blowing All right again that water's so clean coming off of what little run off of the healthy pasture how much sediment it took with the uh, overgraze pasture uh, it's just amazing to see that much difference you want me to flip them in two we do have moisture all the way through that right the roots are pretty short at two inches, that's all the more roots we have to compare to. Compared to all the root structure that goes clear through there, amount of moisture. You can even see the color difference between the uh, healthy pasture versus the uh, overgrazed pasture than the soil structure. And, uh, same way in the no-till versus versus the conventional till uh, it's just amazing how much darker that healthy soil is uh monty williams i guess in closing i hope you guys learned as much about the rainfall simulator and and your soils today as i did uh here at box elder <laughs>